I became a citizen in September 2007. And it may look like that, but I'm actually not from Ireland. <laughs> I'm from China, where leaders elect themselves. So by the time I became a citizen, I was still a virgin as far as election goes. So you can imagine, I couldn't wait to lose my virginity. <laughs> that year, there was a gubernatorial elections in Maryland between the sitting governor, Mark Ehrlich, and challenger, Martin O'Malley. And when I received an invitation to attend the governor's campaign rally in a Chinese restaurant, I gladly accepted. I arrived at this restaurant a little bit early, and there is already a throng of Chinese American gathering in the restaurant. The governor was not there yet, but there are many lower ranking officials there already. And soon I realized why some Chinese American are so enthusiastic about politics. They like to take pictures with politicians. <laughs> I'm so beyond that, you know, even though I'm from China, I know that in this country, elected officials are just public servants. If the servants want to take a picture with me, I gladly extend my hand. But I'm not gonna hold my ass over to take a picture with them. <laughs> so what I end up doing is, I stand there uh, drinking Diet Coke, drinking coffee, and drinking more Diet Coke. And before long, I can feel that my bladder was budging. I need to go to a restroom. And a waiter pointed me to a dark corner. And as I walked towards the restroom, I saw two guys standing on each side of the bathroom door. They are very well built. They are wearing suit and tie. And even though it is a dark corner of a dim restaurant, restaurant, they were wearing shades. Very strange, but I didn't pay much attention to them because nobody is perfect. <laughs> As I walked past them and pushed open the bathroom door, it suddenly dawned on me, oh my god, they must be the governor's bodyguards. And lo and behold, the governor is inside the bathroom standing right before a urinals. <laughs> the first thought that came to my mind is that I want to give the governor as much space as possible to finish his important job. <laughs> but there were only two urinals there, side by side, so close to each other, they're like loving couple. That really let me no choice but to snuggle up to the side of the governor. <laughs> As I unzip my pants, I turned my head to the governor and said, so governor, how are you doing? <laughs> how do you plan to address our state's budget deficit? <laughs> Actually, I didn't say any of those. My mind was reaving feverishly, trying to come up to determine what I should do or should say in the presence of the governor. Should I shake his hand? His hand is busy. <laughs> should I thank him for licking in a Chinese restaurant? Or should I show him my profound knowledge by raising the serious issue of illegal immigrants crossing the border into Maryland? from Mexico. <laughs> As I was struggling to come up with a topic worthy of discussion during the governor's pee time, <laughs> the moment had passed. The governor was finished. He put his, he put his equipment back where it belonged, washed his hand, and out the door he went, leaving me standing there still wondering what I should have said. That evening, the governor gave a fantastic speech 
to the group of Chinese Americans gathering there to support him. But I couldn't remember much of it because my mind was still lingering in the bathroom, savoring the moment when the governor and I stand shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> you see, growing up in China, I was brought up to believe that leaders have the heaven's mandate to rule. They are demigods. They don't pee. <laughs> in fact, they don't have penis. <laughs> so it is quite revealing to see that my governor is human. He has to go to a restroom like I do. And when he pees, he's standing upright like I do. And after he's done, he washes his hand like I don't. <laughs> Did I say don't? <laughs> At that precise moment, I know what I should have said to the governor when we were before the urinal. I should have said, Governor, let's take a picture. <laughs> I'd like to end my story by saying that I lost my virginity that November. I voted for the first time in a free election, and have voted in every election ever since. Thank you. <laughs>